Hi, my name is Suba Agarwal and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to be going over how to do angles of equations. So say you have some sort of equation and you're trying to solve for the angle in that equation. What you're going to want to do is use a series of functions called inverse trig functions. So a couple of examples of these would be like sine inverse of something right here which can also be written as arc sine or cosine inverse which can also be written as arc cosine and so on and so forth for all the trigonometric functions that you usually use. Uh, so say for example you have sine of some angle x equals 1 and you wanted to solve for x you would use this inverse trig function in order to get and solve for the angle in that equation. You can also sometimes just look at a problem and know that because when you're learning trig you have to memorize certain values on a, for these functions, the sine and the cosine function. So for instance if you saw sine of some angle alpha equals root 2 over 2, most people are going to know that answer is pi over 4. And that's how you solve for the angles and equations. My name is Suba Gerwal, and thank you for taking an interest in math.